it. But I think that's kind of hypocritical. You just put hands with somebody in Miami. I did not put my hands on nobody in Miami at all. I sent that up and down. <laughs> that's this, I don't know what this nigga. Did you not participate? No. Uh, you didn't do it, but did you not? Were you not a witness to somebody getting hands put on them in a in, in, in a restaurant in Miami? I heard somebody was slot. First of all, who took this person and slid him on the table on some movies? That's disrespectful. And I was, if I was him, I'd never squash it. <laughs> why would you have? Why would somebody take somebody? Uh, pay attention to me. Turn the camera to me. Said this. Put him on the table on a dinner table and slide him by his boxers and his shirt. Who had time to do that? Now don't don't let, don't cover your face. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> now why y'all did that? No, no, for real. <laughs> what? I heard that. I heard they got it on footage. Why 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 y'all sliding on tables at this old age? Hi, right, bro. No, bro, for real. Did you have did you have a, a flashback? I, I, bro, I, bro, I have no idea what are you talking about, bro. Capo, how do you go into a place, Capo? For real, you know what I'm talking about. The dude, bro. If I did anything in today's era, we would all have. We would probably we all see it on like they see anything else I do. If I, Kappa, why around, why, why, if I ran a slip in the this. bathroom, they got footage of it. Like, oh, Jim Jones slipped in the bathroom. He's like, oh. Why do they, they put hands the on, on the Freddie dude? Why do they put hands? Not you. What why did? Why what? did? Why did people associate it with you? Put hands on them. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking? Where's this happening? He got <laughs> beat up in the steakhouse. Somebody I, I, took him out of boxes in his shirt and slid him across the table. I, I didn't heard see it. I, didn't, I haven't seen this. I haven't. I, you seen it? Like you got you like it's on you. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I saw him had a bruise on his face. I saw his shirt was was wrinkled. What are you talking about right now? I like you bugging out. I, did he diss you before? You can who, answer that. Who, who? Freddie Gibbs. Oh, um, in the past, yeah, he may have said some some things that. Well, not the nicest thing that you would say about a person. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, do me for a loop. Like, I'm like, why would he talk about me like that? Like, I'm like the most lovable person out of everybody. Like, I'm not on, I'm not on anything. Like, when I come in the spot, I give everybody love. Hey, what's up? Oh, you good? How you doing? How your mom doing? How your family doing? And then you go around and you talk about me like, I, like, I don't know. I'm a friendly guy. Okay, and... Is it squashable? What? If, if he apologized like a DM, would you have a call? Because you know, remember, now it's he a new don't have gym. to apologize to me. He don't. Why would he want to apologize to me for? So the okay, so I got him. We got him, G. We got him. So you should be apologizing to him for having him slip across the table. Why would I want to apologize to him? I didn't do nothing. I never did anything to this man. Like this is what I'm trying to figure out. Like I, I've never did anything to this man. You ever heard me say anything? publicly wrong to slur his, to, to slander his name like have you seen me ever see any like you the only wrong. person i know that 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 wear them tight white yellow white t-shirts with muscles coming out breathing heavy <laughs> looking around you do the say i saw you but what are you talking all right so about? when it happened in there what were you doing in there you was in the bathroom you, it, where, you where he you? got attacked in the same restaurant that you was in where were you i wasn't in there i didn't but I, I don't even remember i don't Bro, I, I don't remember being in any restaurant and a fight broke out. Bro, I'm no, I don't, I don't, I don't like to go to those type of places where all the hip hoppity stuff and these guys, they, they, you know what I mean? The big chains on, they very aggressive. I'm not into that. Like that's not my, not my style. You know what I mean? Like I just do music and I try to stay home and, and stay out the way. Cause these guys out here, they're actually crazy. I'm scared of most of them. <laughs> Like it's a scary thing. You ever been in a room with a bunch of these rappers? They like so scary. Like I was so <laughs> like really, I had to hold on to my money, and I was like, like maybe should I put it in my sock? Like I didn't like it so. Whoa, very aggressive. Are you gonna apologize to this man on camera in front of everybody right now as a gentleman? What am I? Who am I apologizing to? I am taking it. Look at that. Shit. This guy jumped out of the window. Ooh, he's throwing payment. Windmill. Holy shit! Look at all these people. Who did he throw at? Buffalo. 
How were you able to? How were you and French able to squash it? How did that 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 come together? I think that was that was a great. That day. was dope, man. Nobody got killed. It was real easy to squash it when nobody get killed. Nah, shout out to Fresh, man. I'm fresh. Fresh is a dope dude, man. I thought that was dope, Kyle. Got a hell of a career, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to French. I, I, thought it, I thought it was I was proud of you. I was proud of myself. Come to times in life when shit, some, shit just don't, some shit just don't make sense. Holding on to shit that don't pay you neither, that shit is crazy. You dig? You know, you know how I go. But I guess, we both, I guess we both felt the same thing and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, shout out to him, man. You dig? Did did he? <laughs> that was a trap question. Did he? Did he also put the request in? <laughs> <laughs> did he also put the? <laughs> Stop, <laughs> Stop, man! Stop! Shout out to French, man! Shout out to the Coke Boys, and they just they just dropped a new album. Yo, Shout, go, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. Go, yo, go, yo, go get that. Shout out to the Coke Boys. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. We got Jim Jones on Queens Flip Flip the Script podcast, and y'all heard Queens Flip alluding to the Freddie Gibbs beef. You know, that occurred, I want to say, over the summer. I can't really remember, but basically, Jim Jones's crew ended up jumping Freddie Gibbs at a restaurant. I actually like how Jim Jones has responded to it. He's like, yo, what you talking about? Because nowadays, rappers be too excited to indict themselves, go straight to Instagram, social media to prove they done did some stuff. And, you know, Jim's keeping it old school. And, you know what I'm saying? He's not trying to capitalize off the situation by speaking on it. And I also like the way Freddie Gibbs handled it. Like, he done went on Twitter and, you know, he, he, he made light of the situation and left it be as it is, you know what I'm saying? So I got to salute both of them for handling it the way, you know, they did. Because a lot, of, you know, a lot of rappers, they like to brag about what they did. And, you know what I'm saying? They like to play victim and things like that. And, you know, they both, you know, handled it. From my understanding, this all started off with Freddie Gibbs. You know, he was on the come up. Decided he wanted to start a beef with Jim Jones. Because, you know what I'm saying? Jim Jones, he has the vampire life thing with the uh, fitness. And, you know what I'm saying? Lifestyle brand, label, and all that music. And, you know, Freddie Gibbs is from Gary, Indiana. So, you know, he reps Vice Lord. And he felt like Jim Jones was throwing up the VL. And, you know what I'm saying? Was false flagging or false repping. I don't know. I don't get into the gang stuff, but you know what I'm saying? That's my understanding of how their issues, you know what I'm saying, started. And, you know, Jim Jones also, you know, squashed his issue with uh, French Montana. You know, I believe that started off with Max B as well because, you know, Max B, he basically was saying, you know, he was we wasn't getting paid right, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't getting music put out right and you know what I'm saying? He said the vibes in the studios are bad, you know, between him and Jim. So I believe all that stirred up over time. And you know what I'm saying? I believe that's how the beef between Max and Jim started. So French Montana and Max B being, you know, they each other's right hand man, you know, just ended up getting inherited. So, you know, I like this new Jim Jones though. You know what I'm saying? Not new in the sense that he's acting different, but I like the maturity, if you know what I mean. Cause you know what I'm saying? Old Jim Jones, Capo status, that that was, was wildin'. You know, I remember how he was talking on the uh, the Dipset anthem, you know what I'm saying? Or I really mean it, my fault. Like, Jim used to be that, you know what I'm saying? He used to be real with it, you know what I'm saying? Not saying he wasn't about, you know, action too, but I'm just saying, like, from the mature, you know, he's probably in his 40s now, you know, to calm down the way he did, gotta salute that. And of course, you know what to do if you like the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. 